Pickaxe Tone Generator. This may not be the prettiest circuit I've built, but I did it in only a couple of hours for my nephew Chris, who has a band. Um, that I've got a Pickaxe 08M2 processor, I've got a big knob and a small knob, and nice little uh, battery operated circuit that the large knob controls the rate of uh, the beeps. And I'll just adjust it. And so it goes from fast to slow, and the small knob does the tone. So you can get a little two-fisted English going on here. It's going to blow. All right. I bet my neighbor wishes that I'd um, do something about <laughs> my alarm clock or whatever he thinks. But anyway, the first thought was use an old-fashioned 555. I've built 10 million 555 circuits uh, when I was cutting my teeth in electronics. And to do this with a 555 timer, you basically need two ICs. You need one to set the tone frequency and you need another to set uh, the output pulses of that tone. And so it would take two 555 timers and the way that it sets the frequency and the time duration are resistors and capacitors. And so all hardwired, this would have taken all day to build. But that's not how I did it. I used a pickaxe 08M2. It's a programmable chip. It cost the same amount of money, about five bucks, except instead of using two of them, which would have been ten dollars out of five 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 parts, five bucks for a programmable chip. And then I dug through and what I have is I've got my time delay pot and my tone pot. They're connected to A to D circuits, which if I've got VCC and ground at the opposite ends of the pot, the wiper turns to any voltage in between the supply voltage, which by the way has to be between two and a half volts and five. If you plug this into nine volts, you blow up your nice little programmable chip. And um, the output I have going to a piezo speaker. Um, you could stick a series capacitor if you're using a, a, like an eight ohm speaker. And that's all. And then there's just simply five lines of code. Let me just clear this. Not the easiest thing to see here. But, um, yeah, you can't see that at all. I'll put a picture in. But anyhow, very satisfying project. Hope that my nephew enjoys it, Mr. Dr. Reacto. And uh, I need to build one of these for each of my granddaughters so that they can have some fun with it. James out.